Separatism in 2014 is a ploy looking for a justification. His news commentaries were must-watch television for many, first locally in Newfoundland and Labrador, and then on the national. His unique use of language made people take note. Deborah Collins was a colleague and a friend. Rex could skewer someone in his commentary and make them smile at while he did it. He was a Rhodes Scholar. He ran for political office three times and lost, before deciding his strength was in critiquing the upper echelons of power rather than joining them, always with panache. Style was more important than substance. If you're sloppy, slangy, vulgar, blasphemous, or scatological, or simply crude and ignorant, then your thoughts are the same. But his verbose use of language also made him a target for parody. For the national, I'm sex, I mean, uh, wax, Murphy. Comedian Mark Critch impersonated Murphy on this hour's 22 Minutes. He says Murphy's work was the ultimate rebuttal to the negative stereotypes of Newfoundlanders. As Newfoundlanders, uh, having someone like Rex on the national scene, he totally uh, disproved that notion. Uh, and he was the greatest wordsmith in a place known for talkers. The greatest Canadian. He would have declined the question. The man who once argued Pierre Trudeau was the greatest Canadian was not a fan of Justin Trudeau. In the last few years, Murphy generated controversy when he embraced the Freedom Convoy and argued against COVID vaccine mandates, climate change and political correctness. Peter Mansbridge says Murphy felt comfortable when expressing opinions that went against the grain. It was almost easy for Rex to take those positions. Uh, but he meant it, he felt it. Uh, he was, you know, he became much more right of centre. I now invite honourable members to rise. A final tribute the day after his death. The politicians Murphy spent his career pillaring with his perspicacity paused to remember him. Rex Murphy was 77 years old. Peter Cowan, CBC News, St. John's.